minutes 95th to downtown i-57 30 minutes i need to merge mission ford 45 we found lake shore drive is bottled up from the stevenson to monroe the exit to randolph is blocked for police investigation we're seeing some heavy delays on the tollways i'm jim Talamonte on am 560 the answer chicago's morning answer continues next your official chicagoland weather forecast from the one-hour heating and air conditioning weather center and our meteorologist, Steve Williams. Could pick up some rain or snow showers this morning, otherwise a cloudy day. High today, 42. Clouds tonight, low 34. Partly sunny tomorrow, the high 46. Clouds and breezy showers Thursday, mainly early, the high 56. I'm Steve Williams on AM560, The Answer. 36 at O'Hare, next news, 830. Chicago's Morning Answer with Dan and Amy continues next on AM560, The Answer. Check out the pre-Black Friday event this weekend at Shoot Point Blank. Take advantage of early doorbuster savings on firearms, ammo, and more. Plus, all Smith & Wesson firearms will be on sale during this event. Visit your Shoot Point Blank store for details. This is Chicago's Morning Answer with Dan Proft and Amy Jacobson on AM560, The Answer. Top of the morning, Dan and Amy. So that bizarre episode over the weekend with Colin Kaepernick scheduled to do a workout for a bunch of NFL teams engineered by Roger Goodell under pressure from rap star billionaire Jay-Z. And then he switches the location. Yeah, with a half hour before it's supposed to start, he switches the location to a high school 59 miles away. So instead of having 25 NFL teams, only eight showed up at the high school. And this does a public workout for the media because this perhaps was all about the media in the first place. It's not about really wanting to play in the NFL again. Page Six reporting that um, Nike was behind this. They wanted to turn the workout into an ad. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, featuring an ad. They wanted to shoot an ad featuring Colin mentioning all the NFL teams present at the workout. Uh, they had a marketing move up its sleeve in the form of a branded congratulations to be posted to Kaepernick. The marketing material that Page Six saw consists of a letter that Kaepernick himself penned back in fourth grade when he dreamed of having a job in the NFL. A note from Colin Kaepernick, fourth grade, says the copy, followed by handwriting in pencil that reads, I'm five foot two, 91 pounds, so on and so forth. I want to play in the NFL. And then uh, with the, you know, just do a tagline that comes in silently to close it. So uh, perhaps this was all about him making more dough as a Nike flack than it was oh. any, you know, I'm being unjustly uh, prevented from playing football as, uh, for the last three years, and I've been ready for three years. Strange. Boy, how you First, doing? Hey, let me start by saying I appreciate y'all coming out. That means a lot to me. Our biggest thing with everything today was making sure we had transparency in what went on. We weren't getting that elsewhere, so we came out here. It's important that y'all are here. Y'all been attacked for the last three years. Y'all continue to be attacked. We appreciate what y'all do. We appreciate you being here today. We appreciate the work you do for the people and telling the truth. That's what we want in everything. I've been ready for three years. I've been denied for three years. We all know why I came out here, showed it today in front of everybody. We have nothing to hide. So we're waiting for the 32 owners, the 32 teams, Roger Goodell, all of them to stop running. Stop, what, what, stop where, running from what? From one, I, well, here's the thing. He wanted his own receivers, and he wanted his own film crew to be there. And, he, I mean, I right. never heard that Roger Goodell wouldn't let his own film crew be there, but he wanted, he wanted YouTube it live. and Yeah. He wanted things his way or no way. Darn it. This uh, it, when it, it was an opportunity to do this for the press and then to – suck up to the press as you just heard him doing because this is all about press and his personal brand and translating that into cash vis-a-vis nike and let's not forget he wore a kunta quinte t-shirt for more the on the topic we're pleased to be joined by burgess owens he's a former nfl player in fact super bowl champion he's also the founder of the national mentoring program second chance for youth and the offer of the author of why i stand from freedom to the killing fields of socialism and also my favorite book title of all time what? liberalism or how to turn good men into whiners, weenies, and wimps. Burgess Owens, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. 
Thank you, Dan. Amy. Good talk to you guys and, and looking forward to it. And let me just add to that uh, intro. I'm now uh, running for the seat that Mia Love lost in District 4. Oh, that's right, yes. So for those who, uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, uh, Burgess4Utah.com. And we're looking to bring the values that we have, all of us as the real Americans to D.C. and, and, and stop them bringing their values to us. So, so I appreciate the opportunity to chat with you guys for sure. Burgess4Utah.com. Uh, again, uh, Burgess Owens running for congress a seat in utah that was lost by mia love uh, uh that that's uh, held by a democrat that republicans should get back and burgess owens eh, i think he's the man for the job him. yeah good to, good to, i'm glad you mentioned that thank you um what you sure. the, it's this this discussion of colin kaepernick since he's bubbled up to the surface again this weekend this idea and this is being argued in some quarters i i interestingly not on espn but in some quarters that he deserves <laughs> he has some sort of right to play in the nfl that he's being unfairly uh, sh- uh, 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 shielded from being allowed to play in the NFL. Well, and uh, I'll be honest with you guys, this, this goes back to where uh, the problems we really have in our country, and that's these leftist college, uh, colleges, that this is their product. These uh, young people coming out with no common sense and, uh, and, and no appreciation for, for meritocracy, what our country is all about. <clears throat> now, this young man, if you think about what he just said, uh, and this is this has been the problem that the black community has had for decades. It's called elitism. We have a young man who talks about th- three la- last three years where she's been denied. Uh, the guy had a hundred million dollar contract. His last year was twelve million dollars. Last three years, he's done nothing for the black community. He's been silent when it comes down to unemployment. He's been silent when it comes down to crime. He's been silent when it comes to attacking attacking our black babies. But he has been making a lot of money by by signing with Nike and being the face of the Marxist Chinese uh, uh, league that they're putting together. To understand, this is what it's all about. The NFL and, the, and Nike have a great business going in, in China right now, being a billion people, and that's where he wants to put his face, and that's where he wants their new marketplace to be. So, <clears throat> no, he's not, uh, you, know, and, you know, think about all of us who, who go to work every single day. We have a passion. Uh, we put everything we can in to make it work. We, we risk, we work hard, and we show up. Ninety percent of succeeding is showing up. So we showed, he showed uh, this weekend he's not looking at succeeding in the NFL. He didn't show up. He did show up with his uh, Kente Kunte, his Marxist anti-messaging yeah. um, uh, uh, process of propaganda. So that's where his focus is. He wants to uh, continue to, to be the martyr for the leftists. And I'm thankful that he's moving on. We will not be seeing him playing on the football field again. And that's good for us to start looking at the game and enjoying ourselves and, um, and our teams. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, when I was looking at it, his talent level. I mean, he threw some 50, 60 yard passes, but not impressed. I mean, he lifted up his leg. He was throwing like a girl sometimes. So I, I he doesn't physically have it, right? <laughs> Sorry. Well, well I coach girls. Lot, I mean, and he that's was... the whole lot. <laughs> sure. Well, yeah. Well, and, and keep this guy, my guys. You know, what is it? Why do we, why do we look at these teams? We want our teams to win. And the team wins by pulling together, by putting the focus on the end game, just as Al Davis used to say, just win, baby. It's not about his politics. I mean, if he's a Tom Brady, then we might have a different conversation, but he's not. And uh, and the team doesn't win, they don't get paid big bucks. And uh, so he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a distraction, and I'm just so thankful Americans are waking, waking up. And this is one, one thing that I should I also say about, about this whole concept of manhood. We can either be respected or pitied. Real men want to be respected. We want to command respect, not demand respect. This young man has no clue. And believe me, he's losing respect for people across this country. Uh, I will have nothing to do with Nike because he's, they have put in, in front of us someone who's anti-American and not a manly man to make this work. So go ahead and go to China. Uh, sell your product over there because uh, as far as I'm concerned, in my household, there will never be another Nike product. Oh, yeah. Speaking of China, um, this uh, blockbuster New York Times story this weekend, and, you know, it's, it's difficult to say, but New York Times deserves credit for this story, these documents that they obtained uh, from inside the Chinese Communist Party, their oppression, uh, the concentration camps that the Chinese have set up to persecute uh, Uyghur Muslims in China. And uh, this is this is an incredible, incredible detail to a story that we knew was going on, but it really provides how gruesome and barbaric the Chinese communists are, how much they're uh, they're, they're killing people, uh, disappearing people. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so what about that? The NBA, I, I know we're waiting to hear back from Steve Kerr, who's conferring with his brother-in-law, who's a Chinese studies professor. But uh, what, what about that? LeBron and James Harden 
and Steve Kerr and so many of the NBAers that flack for the Chinese government in the uh, in the wake of this report? Uh, you know, <clears throat> this just shows this shows a little bit about what's going on out and again our school system where uh, uh, we have young men, uh, and LeBron is, is, again, part of this whole process. All these elitists, uh, they have no idea what makes our country great. Uh, and and I, 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 tie, I tie down the four things, man. Uh, this, is, this is what brings our country together, has always been, been together. It was, it was a gift from Booger T. Washington. It's head, heart, hands, and home. Education, God, industry, and family. The left, and this, this is what, the left hates those. And you go to China, they hate that. Chinese and anybody who's anti-God hates, hates education. They hate the fact that we can worship anything but themselves. Industry, they want us to be dependent on them. And family, they will destroy the family in a heartbeat. So unfortunately, we have people here in America, live in America, that hate America. And these are the young people that are now growing up in, the, in these Marxist uh, uh, urban communities run by Democrats. And they grow up, become wealthy, but cannot say thank you, do not know our history, do not know what we the people have done together, and they work to divide us. So let me say to Americans out there, Democrat, Republican, and Independents, we can come together with a conversation about educating our kids, putting God back into the center of our lives, putting industry as a, as a component of success, and having our family unit being one that provides safety, security, and abuse for our kids. We do that together. We will go against the enemy, which is socialism, atheism, and Marxism. That's our enemy, not each other. So let's look at those who, who hate our country, hate our values, and, and let's vote these people out, and let's not support them anymore. They want to go to China. Let them go to China and make their money there, but let's not have them take advantage of our American way, use, abuse, and discard us the way they do everything, everybody that, 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 that trusts them. Use, abuse, and discard, yeah. Um, what about uh, Kanye West? How... Uh... How should we receive his uh, Sunday services, including this past Sunday with Joel Osteen? Is do you see him as a emerging force for good within uh, within the black community for black families in America? Oh, what a good what a good question, Dan. Dan, no, I I see this young these young people. This is what I've been looking for for the last thirty years. Black Americans are racing off the plantation. They're running back to what makes our country uh, happy and, and a good place to be, and we have the courage to stand up for it. So Kanye and Candace Owens and all these young people who are getting it, and they have the, the, the courage to, to talk to their peers, and we're bringing our, our, we're bringing our kids back. So, yes, I, I, I love what he's doing. He's going to be the first to say that the reason he got there because he had to fall on his knees and recognize he didn't have all the answers. And I'll tell you, it doesn't matter how wealthy we come, guys, and how much power we have, if we don't get our heart right, we'll always mis- be miserable. I'm thankful for people like Kanye, which will go against the cancel, cancel, uh, um, uh, you know, this culture we have, and stand for his race, his country, and he stands strongly for uh, Donald Trump because he knows he's bringing the answers to, to, to all of us as Americans. And speaking of Donald Trump, President Trump, the impeachment hearings are back. There, we, today we have four top officials set to testify. Uh, Jennifer Williams is testifying <laughs> right now. What do you make of all this? <clears throat> Well, we see firsthand, I'm kind of happy that we live in a day that there's no more gray. You can see good and evil uh, across our country, particularly in D.C. These people could care less about our country. Understand, this is what elitism is all about. When you take God out of anybody's uh, purview, they will do anything for power. These people don't care about fairness, and I want Americans to just recognize, it doesn't, let's, let's put away the idea of, power, of, of uh, personalities. It's all, about, it's all about the end results. If you have a person bringing good results to American people, particularly black Americans who've been at the, in the crosshairs for all these decades, we are winning guys. We're having more jobs. We have more opportunities. We have more businesses. We're living the American dream and becoming more and more independent from the government. If he's a friend to us as black Americans and Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, all Americans, he should be a friend to every single uh, American-loving person. So let's get away from the, from the idea of the, the personality. What are the results? The Democrats have been a thorn in the side of the black community across the board. They want to divide us. We have a President Trump who's doing the right things, and they cannot attack him enough. Let's, let's hold them accountable. If they're not doing their job and bringing success to the people, let's vote them out. And let's support the president who's doing the job like no other president I've ever seen in my lifetime. He is Burgess Owens. He's an NFL Super Bowl champion. He's a founder of the National Mentoring Program, Second Chance for Youth. He's the author of a number of books, including his latest, Why I Stand, From Freedom 
to the killing fields of socialism. And and yeah, he's a news. candidate for Congress. <laughs> he's running as a Republican for Congress to take back a seat that was won by a Democrat against Mia Love in Utah in 2018. Burgess, the number four Utah, BurgessForUtah.com is the website if you want to get involved and support his candidacy, which I would certainly encourage. Burgess Owens, thanks as always for joining us. Appreciate it. It's always a pleasure, guys. You just shot my arm to start of the day, so I appreciate you. Really do. Thanks so much. Thank you. And he joined us on our turnkey.pro answer line. You've made the switch, and it feels so good. You switched to Chicago's morning answer on AM 560, The Answer. If you have pain, listen up, Dennis Prager here. You don't need to live in pain. Let me repeat that. You don't have to live in pain. Chronic pain is the worst, whether it's from an accident or pain that just develops. So Chicagoland, you're in luck. Dr. Ken Candido is one of the nation's most respected and successful pain doctors. He's been voted one of Chicago's best pain doctors several times. Bottom line, he's the pain doctor you need. Dr. Candido of Chicago Anesthesia and Pain Specialists will help you get off pain medication and all of its side effects. How? By finding the source of your chronic pain and fixing it. This is Ken Candido of Chicago Anesthesia Pain Specialists. Let's make you pain-free. Call Dr. Ken Candido and make an appointment with a cutting-edge, respected, and successful pain physician. Go to MyPainChicago.com. That's MyPainChicago.com. Thousands have been helped with their chronic pain, and you can be the next one. Get the phone number and all the info you need at MyPainChicago.com. Dan, I've had a bunch of text messages this morning, people concerned about your cold and cough and suggestions.